हेलो एवरीवन आई वेलकम यू ऑन बोर्ड फ्लाइट ऑफ कैप्टन विजय फ्लाइट ड्यूरेशन विल बी लेस देन टेन मिनट्स एंड टुडे विल फ्लाई थ्रू व्हाट बुक्स टू स्टडी फॉर डी जी सी ए सी पी एल एग्जामिनेशन सो फासन यू शीट बेल्ट एज वी आर रेडी फॉर टेक ऑफ बाई नाउ यू मस्ट बी फुली अवेयर दैट फॉर ऑप्टेनिंग सी पी एल लाइसेंस यू नीड टू पास द ग्राउंड सब्जेक्ट एग्जामिनेशन फॉर नेविगेशन एयर रेगुलेशन मीटरोलॉजी टेक्निकल जनरल एंड टेक्निकल स्पेसिफिक वील कीप टेक्निकल स्पेसिफिक असाइड फॉर टूडेज वीडियो सिंस द स्टडी मटेरियल फॉर टेक्निकल स्पेसिफिक विल टोटली डिपेंड ऑन विच एरोप्लेन यू आर इंटेंडिंग टू फ्लाई ड्यूरिंग योर ट्रेनिंग एंड लाइसेंसिंग सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस मेनली अबाउट फोर सब्जेक्ट्स एयर रेगुलेशंस नेविगेशन मीटरोलॉजी एंड टेक जनरल There has been a lot of question and queries at all forums about how to crack CPL DGC examination. Remember that aviation is a profession which demands extreme level of professional competence and every topic you study and understand in ground subjects will definitely have a in-flight application some or the other time during your flying career. Hence as a prospective pilot you must focus on understanding each and every topic in detail and do not just focus on cracking exams cracking exams should be just a by product of your effort in understanding the aviation ground subjects with this much of moral lecture which is very much required at this stage let's move on to the subject of the video what books to read for clearing cpl exam so here we go First of all on DGCA website you can find the list of books which are to be read and referred to for CPL exam which is officially published by DGCA so the scope of the questions will never go beyond these books further since all the books are likely to have similar subject and topics you may not elect to read all of them so of course one would like to choose the best book among them Number 1 in the list of books to be read are CAE Oxford ATPL books. Oxford ATPL books are a series of 15 books which are considered to be bible and mother of all books as far as CPL exam is concerned and many a times questions are straight from the book itself. So Oxford ATPL books are on the top of the list. And let's see what these books are. Book number 1 is Air Law which you need to study for the subject air regulations book number 2 aircraft general knowledge 1 covering aircraft systems this is required for tech general book number 3 aircraft general knowledge 2 covering electrics and electronics to be read for tech general book number 4 aircraft general knowledge 3 covering power plant to be read for tech general book number 5 aircraft general knowledge 4 covering instruments to be read for tech gen and as well as navigation book number 6 flight performance and planning part 1 covering mass and balance performance to be read for the subject of nav air regs as well as tech general book number 7 flight performance and planning 2 covering the flight planning and monitoring to be read for nav as well as air regs paper book number 8 human performance and limitation to be read for regs exam book number 9 meteorology to be read for met exam book number 10 navigation 1 covering general navigation to be read for nav exam book number 11 navigation 2 covering radio navigation to be read for nav exam book number 12 operational procedures to be read for regs as well as nav exam book number 13 principles of flight to be read for tech gen exam book number 14 communications to be read for air regs and book number 15 performance based navigation to be read for navigation exam oxford atpl books in original are costly but even a second hand copy is worth its price needless to say that oxford books 
must be your baseline during your ground studies the next best series of books are ground studies for pilots and there are total of 5 books in this series four of these books called navigation flight instruments radio aids and flight planning will help you in understanding and passing the exam for navigation paper whereas the fifth book on meteorology will assist you in passing meteorology subject now let's talk about keith williams this series of books are not recommended for initial study or understanding a subject they are more applicable for practicing the question paper solving when your basics are clear additional books though most of the theory and practical aspects should be covered by the oxford and ground studies for pilot series of books you do require some additional books also and they are as follows first is aviation meteorology by ic joshi this is due to the fact that oxford authors will not be covering india and asia specific weather in their book whereas you need to study the indian subcontinent weather for your cpl exam second in the list of additional book is air regulation by r k bali and the last is mechanics of flight by ac karmod to have a good and sound understanding of principles of flight do not get confused by cover page of these books which you see in this video depending on edition of the book the cover page may be different but not to worry even if you get hold of old edition of book they are equally good and publishers do have to keep changing the cover page with every new edition the books i discussed ever would be more than sufficient to understand the theory and score well in cpl examination but yes there is another question with us and that is do we need to read every chapter and every topic from these books well we'll dwell upon these in subsequent video when we discuss individual subjects so hope this video would guide you in right direction in making right choices for selection of books for passing your dgca cpl examination with this we have arrived at our destination Hope to see you on board again for the next flight. Like, share and subscribe if you wish. Happy landings.